Why is there suffering? Why is there pain? Why are there diseases? Why is there death? These are all the readers of life. And many people are mystified. They found no answer to all these questions. Only Jesus, who is the Word of God, who is the Lamb sacrificed for us in His passion, death, and resurrection, only He can reveal to us the true meaning of history, the real meaning of suffering and death. Jesus would be the one who would interpret the scriptures for us and reveal to us the full meaning of our life and the ultimate destiny of history. And simply because Jesus is the word of God and Jesus by his passion, death and resurrection has revealed to us that death is not the end of everything. That suffering has a purpose in this life. All of us are destined for the resurrection. And we are all called to be filled with the Spirit of God so that we can share in His Sonship. So the Christian understanding of history is clear. Unlike that of the world, for the world history is going nowhere. For us, we are clear of what will happen at the end of our life, at the end of history, when all will be in God and God will be in all. If we really want to understand life and its mysteries, we don't have to go that far. Don't have to look for all the answers outside the scriptures. Jesus as that sacrificial lamb, he is the one who will give us the true meaning. Jesus is not just only the fulfillment of the prophecy of the Old Testament. He shows us that he is the new Moses. He is going to lead us from Egypt to the promised land. And like Moses, when he got the people together, they will make kings and priests to God. When God established a covenant with them, Jesus to make us a line of kings and priests to serve God through our baptism. So my dear brothers and sisters, our end is clear. Unfortunately, there is a warning. God is offering us his grace. He is offering us his message. Unfortunately, many of us are not listening. Many of us are not responding. We are taking it lightly. And there is a price to be paid because the disasters that we bring upon ourselves is incalculable. In today's world, when God is absent, when our young people only believe in science and technology, they don't believe in conscience, they don't believe in morality, they think life is just success, materialism, they live a hedonistic life, they will destroy themselves. And so too, in the world of secularism, this is where the world is heading. Because without God, this world has no meaning, has no purpose. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, today, the modern man is arrogant. He thinks he knows everything. He thinks he can do without God. God is not necessary. He will find his own meaning. He will find his own answer. Answer cannot be found in man. It cannot be found in God. And that is why the world is in a hopeless situation. There is despair. Without purpose, without a goal, without something that can drive them to attain it. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, what must we do? We must continue to beg for God's mercy for ourselves and for the rest of the world. 
that God in his mercy will give the world the grace to respond to his message, to his love. 